we are at our testing ground here at Klofta and uh, you know I've been testing this uh, Model X60D lately um, by the way there's nothing wrong with Optimus Prime Optimus Prime is just fine it's not like every time I have to test the car uh, Optimus Prime is broken so Optimus is just in the downtown or somewhere in the city waiting for me but anyway so I've seen some indications that uh, this car seems to be somewhat uh, efficient when I did the range test lately so I was thinking hmm how efficient is it so one way to test the ultimate efficiency is to hyper mileage so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna drive at 40 kilometers per hour and see how efficient it is now we want to try to match two like similar ish cars here we have the i pace with 145 watt per kilometer and my model x performance uh, it's a 90 pack uh, that one had 157 but keep in mind that those two cars that had uh, slightly less inefficient um, tires Nereus tires now I have 20 uh, 19 inch Nokian uh, R2 tires and they should have about 10 watt per kilometer less consumption it's all about the rolling resistance here uh, now today we have some windy weather outside Ugh. so that is well, I don't know all the physics behind here but I believe that um, results in slightly higher consumption uh, so I hope it won't f affect um, the test too much but so let's just go for it yeah so in this test we want to minimize the energy usage so we have to use range mode we switch off climate control uh, lights must be on of course because of safety and then yeah that's it and then we restart the trip meter let's restart trip A and current trip and then off we go all right I did the run no need to show it it was a exact same stretch I did with the, my own Model X and the eye pace and you guys won't believe the result it is so low 111 watt time per kilometer that's like <laughs> insanely low okay um all right so if i was using uh nerius tires i would have about 120 but then i pace had 145 and my model x had 157 so uh like were those other tests in bad conditions like maybe i should retest i pace and my own model x again uh yeah if i have a chance but okay i remember that the temperature during those two tests were about four degrees celsius whereas today we have eight degrees celsius but again on those days we had uh, no wind but today we have wind so hmm yeah all right so you know uh, i just happened to pass by klufta here with optimus prime why well, it's midday but I figured I want to retest to see if uh, Optimus, I mean, okay, this P90D uh, Model X is really that inefficient as I measured before. So everything is the same. I still have the same tires. I have not that much load, just some crap in the back there. So um, last time I managed to get 157 watt hour per kilometer while hypermiling, which is like very high. Uh, but um, you know when the temperature drops below a certain temp like below a certain break point then uh, I don't remember what was going on the, the car kind of switches on all-wheel drive permanently unless you use range mode or something so I'm not entirely sure what's going on but um, at least today it is 8 degrees Celsius and sunny so maybe we get better results we don't know so let's just try it and see what we get so the preparation I have to do is, uh, well, the, the car is nice and warm. Um, we go to driving, switch on range mode, switch off climate control, and that's it. Now we just have to drive as economically as possible. Okay, let's, let's reset some stuff here. Okay, since last, uh, let's reset trip A and uh, recent current trip. Yes, okay, now go. Oh yes, we are driving like a typical Norwegian, 40 kilometers per hour, it's 90 kilometers per hour limit here and then for some reason I have a Mercedes just driving behind me. Uh, it's a dual carriageway here, so they can just hammer past me but for some reason they chose to 
Stay behind me. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Yes, yes. You can overtake. Yes, si, senor. Or, or lady. Yeah, madam. <laughs> no, wait. I, I just mixed up some languages. Ah, shit. Okay, we're back now and, um, well, <laughs> how much did it consume this time? Last time was 157, this time 151. So, it was like, um, the, the 60D consumed 111. So, we're talking about 40 watt per kilometer less than than my beast. I don't know. So, uh, the difference must be in rolling resistance because this car and the nine and the, nine, the 60d has the exact same shape so where where does all the juice go eh? is my car shitty now maybe my car is getting old and it has more like more um, friction in the drivetrain in the motors in the gearbox everything you know yeah that could be it and some people claim that the ap2 cars uh, are more efficient for some reason so I have no idea. Maybe the new cars that have a different generation electric motor, maybe they have a more efficient uh, inverter or something. I have no idea because it's not only about the tires. I mean, the tires, okay, I, I use Nerio's tires and measure them that they, they are like 10 watt per kilometer less efficient than the Nokian Hakobolita R2 tires that is on the 60D I tested. But that's only 10, you know. Where? What about the, the remaining 30 watt per kilometer? Yeah, so it's still a mystery, uh, but it seems like, okay, the performance cars, they consume more than the non-performance cars because the performance cars, they have a bigger rear motor and uh, I guess it was a bigger inverter. So more power means less efficiency in general. Yeah, not always, but in general, yeah. Well, all right, that was interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So as always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.